Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Tyler again with Orion's Tactical. Uh, first off, uh, just from the title video, got a new uh, AR-15 review for you today. Uh, before I jump into that, just want to apologize for the lack of content on the channel here lately. Uh, the past uh, three or four months, I haven't really released any new videos, any content like that. I do apologize. Uh, pretty much the main reason was my channel completely got demonetized. A uh, bunch of gun channels are just really getting hammered by YouTube policies. Uh, some gun channels are even getting uh, kicked off. Uh, so it just, it kind of put me at a little bit of a halt there. Uh, not anything to do with the money, although the money does help. Uh, my channel is really not that big right now that I'm really making enough money to actually uh, support what I'm doing here. Uh, but I just like doing this for not only you guys, uh, educational purposes, but I started this channel as a hobby and uh, I'm, I'm getting back into it full swing, so don't worry about that. Uh, today's video is going to be on this Civilian Force Arms. Uh, pretty, pretty well-known company. I know when I bought this rifle, I had never heard of them. Uh, but I did a little bit of research, and they're they're pretty reputable dudes. Uh, uh, Veteran-owned and operated. Uh, they can really build a rifle. So uh, this rifle is top-notch. All the parts, every little little detail of it. Uh, it is very tight. Uh, you can hardly even get these uh, takedown pins and the pivot pin out because the, the upper and the lower are made together so tight. But I'm going to go ahead and drop the mag here for you. Show you guys that it is clear. And start going over some of the parts. Um, also, this is a very, very lightweight rifle. So go ahead, go down in the comments, guess how much you think this rifle weighs. And at the end of the video, I will let you guys know how much this rifle weighs. And you can see how close you got. Uh, but it's very, very lightweight. Okay, so I'm just gonna start at the back here. This is the MFT, uh, Mission First Tactical. Uh, minimalist butt stock, or it's the Battle Link. This is actually the mil spec version, uh, mil spec buffer tube. This one actually slides very nice. I've heard and seen some other reviewers uh, getting some of these. I don't know if they're the civilian models, uh, but theirs have been really, really tight. Uh, but so far, I really like it. Got a nice little bit of rubber on the butt pad there. A uh, little bit of texture right here where the lever is. It's a little small lever. Uh, QD attachment here at the bottom. Um, so far, I really, really like it. Uh, buffer tube, mil spec buffer tube, nothing, nothing fancy there. Uh, Castle has not been staked. Uh, but I think they do that so in case you wanted to change out like your end plate or whatever you might want to do to it, they left that available for you. Uh, moving right down to the pistol grip is also Mission First Tactical. Uh, pretty nice little little grip. Uh, good control. Uh, there's also a little storage compartment here in the bottom. I have a Allen wrench and a little bit of Loctite in there uh, just for rail adapters. Um, the upper and lower receiver has been finished in what they call tungsten. Uh, they also have a bronze version of this. They both look really good. Uh, I like the tungsten. Uh, I think it makes the rifle pop pretty good instead of just having a solid black traditional style AR-15. Uh, so I think it looks really good. Uh, billet aluminum upper and lower receiver. Uh, probably just standard uh, lower parts kit. Uh, everything about it is mil spec though. Uh, as far as the trigger goes, it is the, I think it's the four pound Velocity trigger. Very nice triggers. Um, I'm sure if you guys know Velocity, you know that they make a exceptional trigger. This one is not the flat face. It's kind of got a little bit of a curvature to it, uh, but it is really, really nice. The charging handle there is what they call a true mil spec. Uh, I got a decent little ledge there. It's not ambidextrous or anything, but uh, it's it's a nice little charging handle. Uh, I've seen some of these rifles come with a BCM charging handles, 
Uh, but this one didn't come with that. Of course, it has the dust cover, uh, shell deflector, forward assist, all the uh, all the standard stuff. It came with flip up sights. These are the ARMS flip up sights. They're not polymer. They're actual steel. Uh, the the rear sight here is kind of like the the peep sight, and then it's got a little bit of a notch there. And then your front sight, just standard front post like most ARs. Uh, pretty nice so far. Uh, let's see, as far as the handguard here, we have a Midwest Industries. It's an M lock design. It's the 15 inch rail. Very very smooth. Uh, your hand fits around it perfectly. Uh, whether you do just a standard grip or you go over the top, you can see there that my hand wraps completely around it. Uh, very nice, very smooth, and you get one of these rail adapters with it. Uh, Midwest Industries sends these with every one of the rails. Um, another cool thing about this is it has QD attachments on both sides, and then there's three on the front, one on the bottom, two on each side. So this rail has five QD attachment points. Uh, also, Picatinny rail, a uh, little Picatinny rail piece there at the front and up here for your front sight. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the trigger pull and then I'll break the gun down, show you the bolt carrier, bolt carrier group, and uh, stuff like that. There's also a back plate here with sling attachments on it. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, as far as this compensator, I'm not sure what kind it is. I uh, still have to do a little bit of research to figure out what kind it is. It's a wicked looking thing. Uh, pretty long. It's got uh, kind of like a little spiked end. I don't know if you maybe could use that as a barricade or uh, who knows. You could use that for lots of different things. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and break the gun down. Uh, oh wait, show you the trigger pull first. So I'll try to get it up nice and close so you can see. Mm, maybe I should do it this way. All right, here's the pull. Oh, uh, well, might help uh, Took it off safe. And the gun. It was unloaded. There's an empty chamber in there. So here's the trigger pull. As you can see, it's just nothing. Um, I think it's I think it's around a three or four pound. I haven't weighed it yet. Uh, but it seems like it's a four pound. Uh, but I will find out and do an update video for you guys. Uh, in the future, but here's the reset. See if I can get a good shot of it for you. Just no movement at all. Let's see if I can switch around here to this side to give you a better look at it. So here's the pull. And the reset. So, uh, sweet trigger, velocity triggers, I highly recommend them. Uh, just as good as any other trigger out there, uh, in my opinion. Okay, now I might not be able to get these pins out. Uh, also, it comes with two MFT 30 round magazines, standard capacity magazines. Uh, these are good mags. A uh, local store up here actually has a bunch of these on sale for $10 right now. Uh, so, if I can get this pin out. Like I said, this, this thing is tight. I mean, there's not a bit of wobble in between those two. Uh, and these pins are really, really tight. I don't have a tool on me, so I'm not going to be able to get it apart for you. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. Um, I will have a follow-up review, uh, probably uh, do a little range day with it, 
And I've got some more surprises for you guys in the very near future. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, a couple more gun reviews for you. And I'm going to be doing a, a lot of stuff with this too. So uh, don't think that the videos are going anywhere. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, Civilian Force Arms. Hagos 15. Uh, Multi-chambered. Uh, shoots 223 or 556. Uh, uh, cold hammer forged barrel chrome wind uh, I, if I could take this apart right now it's got the full auto bolt carrier group uh, chrome firing pin chrome wind bolt carrier uh, so it's it's got all the bells and whistles uh, so yeah that's about it for this video guys uh, so yeah just uh, stay tuned uh, be sure and like us on Facebook uh, Go over to Instagram, follow us on Instagram. We post a lot of different pictures, uh, different guns, stuff like that. So uh, that's just a couple more social media outlets that you can find us at. Uh, but until the next one, guys, this is Tyler with the Ryan's Tactical. You guys take it easy. Okay, did you guys guess what this rifle weighs? Everything you see as is unloaded, this rifle weighs five pounds and eight ounces. So it's one of the lightest rifles I've ever heard of. Uh, of course, that is unloaded. But uh, very, very light rifle. There's their logo. American made, built to survive. True Mill Spec 15. Civilian Force Arms International. So that's it, guys. Civilian Force Arms. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have another... Uh, more in-depth type well not really more in depth but another review uh take it out the range show you guys uh this little baby in action so this is tyler i'll catch you guys next time